Hey y'all, welcome to my vlog. Yesterday we had a meeting. I forgot to record it, but uh, yesterday we had a meeting for church and it was really good. And I just thank God for bringing me to this church. I'm just really, really thankful. And oh man, I tell you, when you feel like God is taking something away from you and it hurts, just trust God and trust in the process because, you know, I've been through a lot, especially when it comes to church and people. And, you know, I was hurt that my pastors weren't treating me you know a certain way where I didn't feel loved I didn't feel like I had a family you know God knew my desires and my heart he knew what I needed and what I wanted and you know he came through he really did he came through and I just thank the Lord for being so good to me and I'm so happy with my church family and just the word that the Lord dropped in my spirit yesterday I'm just like Phew. so y'all just pray for me really pray for me um I love y'all, and see you in the next clip. All right, y'all, I'm off to Bible study. I'm gonna do a fit check real quick. It's Wednesday, off to church, but let's do a fit check real quick. At the end of my days, it boils down to, man, he was a child of the Most High God. He, he walked faithfully with the Most High God. He knew in his heart that he was a child of God. God defined his life. God defined her life. There's so much about this in Proverbs, and one of the writings, though, that I've been going back to recently multiple times is one of the things that Paul said in Ephesians. He said to every believer, you're God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. You're a child of God with, with these good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. That's powerful if you let that sink in for a second. God literally knows you and he chose you to do good things. He prepared in advance the calling and the purpose and the good things that he has for your life. And when you're sensitive to his word and you walk in wisdom like the Proverbs, you unlock those things that he has. Estamos orgullosos de ustedes, de el valor, eh, la decisión que han tomado para seguir a Cristo, es lo mejor que pueden hacer y aquí estamos con familia para apoyarlos, para hacer bendición para ustedes como son bendición para nosotros. Y vamos a orar y dar gracias a Dios porque esta es una noche inolvidable para todos y especialmente para ustedes, también para la hermana Saraí que no me imagino cómo se siente ahora sí. su corazón, ¿verdad? Este, los amamos y bueno, estamos felices. Todos estamos aquí porque queremos ser parte de lo que Dios está haciendo en su vida y, y esta es una nueva etapa para ustedes. Y que vienen cosas hermosas de parte de Dios porque cuando uno hace lo correcto y obedece a Dios, dice el Señor que ese camino lleva a la bendición. El camino a la bendición es el camino de la obediencia. Y cuando uno uh, hace lo que el Señor le dice, siempre va a haber bendición. Así que vamos a dar gracias y vamos a orar por ustedes y que Dios los ayude y los fortalezca en esta Buena nueva atención. etapa. Sí, y ahorita vamos a dar la oportunidad para que también compartan cómo Dios te, pues, los ayudó a, 
a tomar esta decisión, eh, todo lo que podamos compartir ahorita para disfrutar esta noche, edificarnos unos a otros y comer también. Oh, yeah. Ay, sí. Muy bien, damos gracias a Dios. Te damos gracias, Padre Celestial, por la vida de nuestros hermanos Luis y, y, y Esmeralda, que hoy se bautizaron, Señor. Estamos muy orgullosos de ellos como, como iglesia, como familia de la fe. Señor, esta noche eh, estamos celebrando esta victoria, estamos celebrando que tú, Señor, has alcanzado sus vidas y que ellos ahora viven para ti. Gracias, Señor, por todo lo que has hecho en ellos, lo que estás haciendo y lo que vas a hacer, cosas extraordinarias en, en ellos. Oramos que los guíes, los fortalezca, los ayude, les dé sabiduría en todas las cosas. Bendícelos, que las ventanas de los cielos estén abiertas sobre ellos en todo momento, Señor. Muchas gracias por todos los que esta noche han venido aquí para celebrar este momento tan especial. Bendice la vida de cada uno y bendice los alimentos en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Now I'm part of the media. I really wanted to sing, but that's where they need people. So I guess, um, <laughs> I guess I'll do it. I'll do it, Lord, whatever you need. I couldn't say no. I mean, that's where they need people. So uh, today is first time joining the practice. So I pray that I am good at it and that I don't suck because I'll be the one that's like making sure that the lyrics are on top of the uh, I'll make sure that the lyrics are on the screen and stuff so we'll see how it goes <laughs> to bring my camera but I'm surprising the pastor with a card because he's been working hard and he's always thinking about others before himself and I just thought it would be nice to give him a gift because he's so focused on making it special for other dads tomorrow for church so this will be great thank you Jesus I worked at media today and actually it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. It was really easy. And you know, shout out to my ex for teaching me how to make music because it was kind of like the same thing, knowing like the rhythm, when to, to move the screen. And you know, I'm just thankful for my experience of making music <laughs> and you know, paying attention me i'm always i'm always like paying attention to like the little details so it was pretty pretty good pretty easy it wasn't anything too hard <laughs> the guy that was teaching me was like you need to teach me <laughs> so i'm so glad that i know a little bit about music and um yeah i'm excited to be able to help out honestly i am super exhausted i wasn't able to really record because I was focused on like my content and then also the content for church. Um, well, mainly just the content for church. Um, I was trying to edit my videos and stuff and then like I was kind of just in the moment because we helped out yesterday for the community and I was just like focused on like helping because you know, we were in a mixed community, so if it was English, then I would have to talk to the person, and if, were, and if they were speaking Spanish, then my pastor was talking to them in Spanish, so I had to, like, you know, focus. So I didn't really get much um, content for, um, for this vlog, but yeah, so far so good. I'm just gonna say that I'm super busy now, so I guess I'll be making more vlogs because... You know, God is just good. And 
being obedient to the call say yes when he calls and you know there's just oh man it's just the best feeling ever to just team up with god and just doing his will and him getting all the glory i could do that all day every day because i just love him but yes um i love you god bless you god keep you and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. I love y'all.